This is Henschel Tesla Y strip tail light for your Model Y and also available for your Model 3. So we'll be unboxing this, showing you what's inside. So there's two corner tail lights, the inner tail lights, and the cyber inspired light bar. So if you're interested in this, link in the description as well as the promo code. We'll show you a full installation video tutorial as well as how it looks like after installation within the garage lighting setting and also the light function and during the nighttime. First step to install the Cyber Inspire tail light strip is to pry up these rubber trim and you just have some space here and here to gain access to your two bolts tail lights. Do the same thing for the right side. Pull up the rubber trim. So now you have access to this inner panel where you can get a small wrench to unbolt two nuts inside here, as well as pull this up. And on top of each of the corner tail lights, go ahead and pull this up. And for model three, you turn it counterclockwise. Right hand tail light. So if you can't pull this with your finger, go ahead and grab a pry tool like this, place it underneath, wiggle it a little bit, and it should come loose. Just make sure you power off your vehicle, go into controls, safety, and power off. Okay, next working on the left hand tail light here. You want to pop this two panel open and using a small wrench like this with a 8 and 5 16 go ahead and unscrew the two nuts behind this tail light so there's two screw one on top one on bottom once you take those two out this will pull straight out. There's two pins here. And if you have too big of a hand and you need more space, what you can do is pull this trim up, just like so, place it aside. And then this trim right here, you can pry this open as well. And there's two clips, one right here, one right here. This is how it looks like. You just need a pry tool right there. So there's a clip right here. Pull this up. There's a clip right here. Pull this up. And this will allow you to take this side compartment tray out. All you need to do is just pull it up. And this comes out. So this is what causing this to not be able to open further. So once you remove that side compartment, now you have much more room to work with. Okay, using that same wrench we talked about earlier, one hand hold the trim open, the other hand go in and unbolt it. So once you have it loosened using the wrench, go ahead and loosen it completely with your fingers. Make sure not to drop the nut down into your rear bumper. So here's one nut. Let's grab the other nut. So you just want to do this slowly and carefully. Here's the other nut, and again, it's on the top and bottom of the inner housing. The other two are just pins. Now go ahead and unplug the wire from the car connected to your rear tail light. So there's a tap you want to press in and pull out. And now you can pull this tail light straight out. Be very careful not to pull this side first. As you can see, it wants to give way here first. So what, what helps is if you open up the charge port, 
and have a good grip and pull it towards yourself. So it's being a little stubborn. I'm gonna use a pry tool to give it some leverage here. And once you loosen it, go ahead and just pull it straight out using stronger grip on the outer part, just like that. And then now grabbing the hand show tail light strip, and this is part of the strip. So you have to install this as well as the strip bar. So first run this wire on the hand show tail light through that opening there. So you can see there's an extra wire and another connector. And this allows you to run the wire inside the rubber strip here up along up to your lift gate. So once you have the wires in, go ahead and press this two side simultaneously. So using the same Tesla nut that we took out earlier, go ahead and place it back on. Hold the tail light while you're securing the first nut. Now secure the second nut on the bottom. So same nut we took out earlier. Use the same wrench that you loosened the nut with earlier. Now tighten it and start with the top of the bottom. So here we're going to do the bottom first. So clockwise is to tighten. Okay, up next, take off the lift gate cover, starting with these cover. So you wanna pry where the brake lights is at, place your finger inside, and it comes right off. Okay, after you remove the front trim, the top trim, you can remove the back trim here. Before you can remove this trim, there's two clips, one right there, and one right there. So those clips are just these plastic clips. You just put a flathead screwdriver in and pull it out. And there's another non-clip, but you do need to remove this one to be able to pry it open. And to remove this cover here is a little fragile, so be careful. Use a small pry tool if you have one. Um, go ahead and place it inside here and then pull it down simultaneously and this should come off. Slide it from the top in like this. If you have another one, it will be better, but you will wiggle it around, wiggle this side around, and then it snap. There's actually a lock mechanism right there, a plastic one behind here. There's no way you can get to that side unless you have a small metal pry tool, but I would voice against that. You can always pull in like this, but the best way for me to pull this cover off was sliding it along the side here and here and popping it open. And now you can remove this trim. This trim, you can work your way around this side. You don't need to remove this rubber, this rubber stopper here. Just work your way around. Don't let it drop. Once you pull it down, there's a wire connecting to the power button to close the latch, as well as your speaker. Okay, work along the side here. The 
just a wire connection, you want to detach. It's just this one white wire. This connection here, and let this drop. So it's located right there. There's one bolt, same bolt, nut that you need to remove. So go ahead and pull out that red tab. While you pull it, simultaneously wiggle the wire out. Two attachment, the black and the white one. Attach it to the hand show tail light. So there's two plugs there. Okay, so this is the hand show tail light. The white connects to the white and the black connects to the black. Okay, now the big plug, the female, connects to the to the Tesla vehicle. Okay, so it also works with the pilot light. If you have the pilot Model Y center brake lights and signal, it works for that as well. So now you'll be running this wire all the way up across into that. Okay, next, go ahead and unbolt that nut. So this is the eight five by 16. And there's only one of them. So only one per inner tail light. All right. So once you got that bolt out, this will just pop right open. Okay, so again, there's one clip on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side is where that bolt and that nut was located. So you wanna pull from this side, just jiggle this side out at the same time. Okay, the trick to remove this inner tail light is after you remove the nut, place this pry tool inside like this so one on the top halfway down from the red line here push it down while you're holding the light itself and then on the bottom right below the reverse light pop that open and that's where your two push pins are at so one on the top one on the bottom okay so this is the tricky part so this is the hand show inner tail light there is a connection that you do have to connect to the actual light bar itself. So you do need to collect, connect, you do need to connect that before you place this light on. And there's an opening where you slide it through just like that. And then it runs along this crease here. Okay, so once you have the inner tail light out for both sides, go ahead and start cleaning this surface area off with some isopropanol. Okay, next step, run these wires along these trim here in between the metal frame and the plastic trim. And then after you run it around, go ahead and put the rubber stripping back. close up see how clean it tucks in so I do have a dash cam back here so disregard that and then you just run it up right here this is that extra live view camera the live view camera will fit through here but you can always run it along here and then it sit flush flat with this condu so no water is gonna leak in so you don't have to worry about that then do the same thing for the right tail light. 
and you will be running the shorter wire to connect to this one here. So here's the connection. Connect this one to the Tesla and these two to the hand show harness. So the shorter harness. Okay, so the final part, once you run both wires from the actual left tail light and the right tail light, you will be running it along the trim into the lift gate. So once it's in the lift gate, you're ready to install the inner part of the tail light. So on the lift gate. All right, so go ahead and plug this left tail light to the black plug on the light bar. So once it's attached, there's a little groove right here where the wires will come out. So make sure you don't pinch the wire. It is a strong wire, very reinforced, but make sure you don't pinch it. So you wanna line this up like that. And then while you do that, go ahead and run the wire through this hole here. The same hole that you got the, where you got the original OEM tail light out. And place this light on, but don't close it yet. You only want enough wires hanging out so it meet the actual light bar itself. So if you have extra wire of those in, you can also reach from behind and pull it out. If you have enough slack, go ahead and line this up. So now, once you feel comfortable with enough slack, you can go ahead and push in the two push pin. All right, now let's work on the other side. So you're pretty much almost done here. So now you want to line the light bar up. You take off this protective. Again, I cleaned the surface of this Model Y trunk already with isopropanol. I'm just gonna use a regular pick tool to get that red tape off. So once I have part of the bottom tape out, just let it hang loose and then take out the top. So once you have the top and the bottom, loose tape, start lining it up. And then just work your way so it lines up with the trim on the bottom here. And then keep pulling on the tape. Okay, next, go ahead and connect everything, including the tail light. You don't have to zip tie everything right now, but connect the two wires that you ran through the conduit there and just connect it. This goes to the Tesla inner, inner housing connector and then the other two goes to the tail light and the light bar. So let's go ahead and connect that. So this is a Tesla inner light connector. So this is a hand show female adapter. Press in the red tab. Now connect these two, the white one and the black one. It's the one that you fished through earlier. So one goes to light bar and one goes to the inner tail light. That's it, and do the same thing for the left side. All right, so connected the left side now. So let's recap what we did. So what we did first, move this top cover where the actual stopper is at on both sides. So on the left side and the right side. Then we pull out this tail light straight out after we disconnect the harness and also the two bolts behind, the two nuts. And then we pull this out, there's two pins here. And we did the same thing for the right side. Then we took off this cover, the first cover, and then this cap here with the two clips and pull this down. 
Then we start running the wires all along here, 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 through that conduit, and then along here, the right side of the vehicle, and then we just we just zip tie everything, or you can do um, electrical tape, one to that, one to that. But before we install the actual in there tail light, so you can see there, that's installed first, and then holding this. We install this side, holding this, and then we adhere the 3M adhesive behind here. And then we start connecting all the wires behind the panel there and there. And now before you put any panels back, go ahead and test out the light. So let's, let's do that right now. All right, let's test this out. All right, now place everything back in reverse order and you should be well off to test this out. Starting off with the bottom trim, plug in the speaker plus the light, it's one plug. Back on each side. You know, put the top cover back on. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 10.26 p.m. 